Hi, today I want to talk about an age-old expression in the Urdu language. For the intelligent, a mere gesture is sufficient. And I want to talk about the connection I see with this expression and what I've discovered of intelligence during my work with artificial intelligence and trying to create machine intelligence. So again, reflect on this saying, for the intelligent, a mere gesture is sufficient. What that means is that at higher levels of intelligence, very small amounts of information, very small amounts of input are required to enable that intelligent entity to conduct whatever action it is that needs to be conducted. So in this way, intelligence is a form of decompression, meaning that you can pick up a very small signal from the environment and make a lot of sense of it. You are taking a small amount of data, a gesture, and decompressing it into a plan and into action and into a series of steps and into comprehension and long-term planning. You're doing a lot with very little. And in computer science, this idea of taking a lot and representing it as very little is compression. And the opposite of that, taking a little and making it into something that's sensible, but that is a lot, is decompression. And that's where I see this deep connection between this age-old phrase and the idea of intelligence. You see, intelligence is elusive. What exactly is it? There are so many definitions, but one that I find compelling is that higher forms of intelligence are those which can achieve higher goals. Now, if you think about it in that framework, seeking a goal and achieving a goal, again, requires planning, vision, prediction, action, comprehension of the various individual things you will encounter along the way. So there's elements of near-term responsiveness, things like perception, what is in my way as I walk from place A to place B, but then, walking from place A to place B, what does that mean in the context of the overall goal that I want to achieve? How does that walking, the coverage of distance from A to B, correspond to my long-term plan? And how does that help me achieve my long-term plan? So again, intelligence is something that is at a higher level when it is able to achieve higher goals. So now you take these two things together. When you look at neural networks, one of the things that neural networks actually do quite well is compression and decompression. You take huge amounts of data, sometimes terabytes and terabytes of data, let's take images, and you train up a model which might have, let's say, a few billion parameters. But the size of the model that actual model that you've trained, the neural network that you've trained represented by the various parameters and weights of the individual neurons and layers that make up that network. The size of that file, the size of that network is much, much smaller than the training set. But what we're expecting is that successful training, the uh, application of the backpropagation algorithm and the trained neural network will really learn everything we want it to learn from the underlying data set. It's not storing the entire data set, but then it's going one step further. Not only is it understanding the data set in terms of the parameters we want it to understand, for example, being able to identify a car versus a van versus a Jeep versus a bicycle. You might be using a very large data set to train a network to solve that classification problem, but eventually, what you're also expecting that network to do is be able to identify unseen examples of bicycles and vans and buses and trucks and so on. So you're not only compressing information in the sense of taking a very large data set, training up a network, and then representing the information component of that data set in terms of what it means to be a car and a truck and so on and compressing that down compared to the overall file size of let's say every image in that set with the network size itself. You're gonna have massive compression there. The two sizes are not even comparable. But you're also doing another thing, which is that images that the network has never seen, 
you are enabling that network through this process of training the application of backpropagation and the input of a large data set, you're enabling that network now to answer questions about inputs that it has never seen. And so this is another form of compression, which is not only the compression of the seen, but also the compression of the unseen. So again, a higher form of intelligence. Now, a lot of people who have been exposed to computer science, who've been exposed to artificial intelligence, will often ask the question, what are you doing that's artificial intelligence? Isn't at the end of the day, all of what you're doing just if then else? Isn't it just decision making? Isn't it just rules? Well, actually, no. In this sense, it is not just rules. It is compression and it is compression to achieve both the compression of the seen and the compression of the unseen. The JPEG compression algorithm you may be familiar with, every image that's downloaded in your browser, a, a large chunk of them are likely to be compressed with the JPEG image compression algorithm. Now that is a deterministic algorithm. You can basically understand it. You know exactly how it works. You can read through the lines of code. There are if then else's, there are things to do within the algorithm, very perfectly readable, very perfectly understandable. You provide it with an uncompressed image and it compresses an image and we kind of know exactly how it works. It averages out colors in the neighborhood, etc., and it reduces the information necessary to represent that original image. However, it is a compression of the original image down to a smaller number of bytes, but that is all it is. It is not a compression of actions. It is not a compression of the unseen. It is simply a representation of one type of image into another type of image, which is smaller, looks the same, but actually is slightly different, but looks the same. It's lossy compression, but the algorithm itself is perfectly understandable. So what you're doing with artificial intelligence, particularly with neural networks, is not that kind of compression. It's the kind of compression which is learnt once and then is applicable to the unseen. And going back to this definition of intelligence being a form of compression, what you're achieving with artificial intelligence techniques is a higher degree of compression of input data sets a representation of those data sets in a manner that is so concise that it necessarily involves a process of understanding. And then it is understanding not just what it has been shown, but also what it has not been shown. And isn't this what human beings do? We talk about a child looking at, let's say, a gesture that you might do, and they'll replicate, they'll try to replicate that gesture maybe only after one or two or five times of you showing them that gesture. The child is able to understand by looking at what you're doing, the essential elements of that gesture and then replicates the necessary muscle movements, etc., to come up with a gesture that kind of looks very similar. You might smile at them, they might smile back. You might frown, they might frown back. You might make a funny face, they might make a funny face back. And so, this is a form of intelligence. Being able to look at something once is understand the essential elements of it, compress that in the form of an understanding, perception, and then be able to replay that out in many, many ways. And understanding not just the seen smile, but also smiles that are unseen, smiles that are on faces that have never been seen before. This is intelligence. And what we are doing now with artificial intelligence is that kind of intelligence too. It's not if then else. It's not deterministic. It is compression of a magical variety. And that is what makes artificial intelligence and the building of artificially intelligent programs, particularly using connectionist approaches and using neural networks, so different and so special. <laughs>